Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. I am still sick. Uh, please donate to keep the channel going. Uh, I don't think you all understand what's going on behind the scenes, and YouTube is being YouTube. Uh, but literally, I just need like 10 people to donate $50. Please interact with the video. That means thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Because subscribing doesn't do anything. You have to click the notification bell. Reply to other people's comments. Click thumbs up on other people's comments. It's it's a community thing. So this is trying to build a community. So we're going back to the robots here. I want to talk today about the real reason the U.S. doesn't have C-3PO robots running around. Right? If you've read any sci-fi book from 60 years ago or even 100 years ago or more. They would talk about the future as having flying cars, personal communication devices, and advanced AI robots that look and act just like humans. A hundred years later, except for cheap cell phones, nothing they predicted has come true. Ex excuse me. Nothing they have predicted has come true in America. We do have flying cars. We do have cell phones and other communication devices that you might not even know exist. We do have robots, advanced AI robots, just not in the United States. Before you lament why we don't have C-3PO on every corner, you have to look at who's going to pay for a C-3PO. You, for the most part, personal robots cost around a million bucks. Most of you don't have that laying around, if not, you should be donating $50 to me, 10 of you, and you don't even have a million bucks in your bank. So that's strike number one. So let's ignore the general public. That means you, 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 you people. What about businesses? Don't they have a million bucks? Sure they do. But what exactly does the personal robot do for the business? Practically nothing. We're talking about personal robots. Practically nothing is the answer. When you start looking at what robots are available that a company would be interested in investing in for a return on the money, hands down the only robots that they're interested in are robot arms, right? 90% of robot arms in America are for car makers. The other 10% are for the Department of Defense. Neither of those are personal robots. So that's strike two if you're keeping track now we come right down to it what would you want a personal robot for let's say you got the million bucks and you're gonna donate 50 bucks to me let's say i provide you with the entire sales experience to customize your beautiful personal robot for you in this day and age of people phoning the police because a guy was working out on his front yard how long do you think it would take before Karen would be calling the cops? Because she saw a robot, female robot, wearing nothing but an apron, cleaning your living room. In Canada, they put a man on trial because he had a toy the size of a three-year-old. It doesn't matter that he also had toys the size of full-grown women. They were so interested in the one-foot-tall long toy that they arrested him and put him on trial. I don't know, I don't know what happened to him, but I know that he was put on trial. Criminal trial for a toy. Let's shift across the pond. Women have tried to get personal robots banned from being sold even before they were a thing, claiming that they were against women. 20 articles have were written about all the ethics of robots doing things without their consent. Can you wrap your head around that for a second? You're asking a robot to do things without the robot's consent. That's strike number three, and you're out. We're not gonna see cheap Chinese robots, nor perfect Japanese robots for another 50 years. Not because they're not here, but because American society will come against it. They would claim a personal robot is nothing more than a slave and we're against slavery. If you think that's ridiculous, you only have to turn to Saudi Arabia granting citizenship to 
Robot Sophia, which isn't even a robot. Sophia is nothing more than a computer program that they program to say X, Y, and Z. Sophia is so bad, she didn't even really move. They recently gifted her legs from a company that makes robot legs. And that company gave her legs from like 30 years ago. That they, <laughs> they're, they're really trashy legs. Not their brand new, spanking brand new legs. It's such a joke in the industry. They're already gearing up to give robot citizenship, feelings, emotion chips, pain chips, and right of refusal. Do you know what that means? Until the busybodies die off, we're not going to have our upgraded toasters in America. Imagine that. 50 years ago, people coming against you because you didn't toast your bread over a wood stove like a decent human and instead had a toaster. How dare you? This is the same argument that they have against personal robots. How dare you? Thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up. Wish me a happy healthy recovery from this sickness. It's, it's not going away. Thank you.